What's going on everybody? It's boy Anthony, Long Outfish Guy here. Now today's video, it's the video you've all been waiting for, and that is my reasons as to why I hate Marineland. Now, some of you guys might be thinking, hey, you know, a Long Island Fish Guy might be doing this for a little bit of clout. He's trying to get a little bit of clicks, try to get a couple people riled up, talk a little bit of smack in the comment section maybe, but no, no, this is exactly just me hashing it out and ranting to y'all because I'm gonna tell you this right now, there's plenty of brands I love out there and not just the high-end Fluval type stuff, but I like the Aquions as well as the companies like Penplex as well. I got plenty of videos out there supporting brands. I love Penplex, they're actually a sponsor of mine. I've made videos about Sun Sun canister filters that I absolutely love. And to be honest with you, Fluval. Fluval's a brand I love. Every single one of my tanks have Fluval lights on them. But when it comes to Marineland, I'm done. Done. On today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys the reasons. There's five reasons. Five reasons why I don't like Marine Land. I hate Marine Land and I ain't buying any more Marine Land product. Keep in mind, guys, I literally was just bringing the tank down here and kind of made the impromptu of, hey, if you guys give me 30 likes, I'll go ahead and make a video about this. If this video gets 30 likes, I will make a dedicated video as to why I hate Marineland. You know, I'm an honest man, guys. Before we also hop into the video, if you do have any of your own experiences or have your own opinions about Marineland, be sure to go ahead and drop a comment in the comment section below and you let me know your thoughts. Do you hate them or do you love them? If you guys do like this video, be sure to like the video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other content like this. So before we hop into the hate portion of the video, let's do a little bit of education. Who is Marineland? Marineland falls under the Spectrum brand. Spectrum brand has a lot of different other companies underneath it. If you walk around the stores, you kind of see the Marineland food next to like some Tetra food. You kind of see the packaging is the same. And that's because they're technically from the same company. Tetra and Marineland and even Glowfish, which I hate, and I know a lot of you guys probably hate, even things like Omega One, that's all under the same category, the same umbrella. So, number one, filters. Marineland has a bunch of different types and quality types of filters. Specifically, I'm talking about hang in the back filters, probably the most universally used from not only people who are deeply into the aquarium hobby, but also let's say a family that might just have one 29 gallon fish tank with a hang on the back filter on it. Why? Because easy, it's simple. I have had the two different types of, probably the most common types of hang on the back filters for Marineland. That is their Penguin series, which is their entry level, and their Emperor level series, which I'm gonna be honest with you guys, up until a few weeks ago, I actually really liked the Emperor series, and the Penguin series has always been really bad. <sighs> Number one, the reason why is the overall construction of it. The overall construction to this versus, let's say, an Aquion filter, which actually has uh, the motor inside the water, so you actually don't have to put water inside. Like, for instance, I always have plastic cups, I scoop out some tank water, and I put it in the back to keep it going. Those Marineland filters, the penguins specifically, but also the Emperor, they just keep going. Nen, 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 nen. Then it might go on for a minute before it actually kicks in and starts filtering. Nen, 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 nen. The Aquion, you plug it right in, it works. For the Aqua Clears, it takes maybe eight seconds. Boom, it works. Marineland. Ba -bam, ba -bam, ba -bam, ba -bam, ba -bam. Not, what's going on here, guys? Nen, 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 nen. George needs filtered water. Here guys, I got a, I got all of these lights here guys, just to, you know, really make this look really nice. I don't think these guys are liking it. George looks a little flushed out right now, but let's get back into the video. I'm not gonna lie to you guys too. There was a couple of times where the filter would like kind of burn out and just randomly stop. And I heard, I smelled like a little bit like a burning smell. And I, I remember, I, it wasn't like the filters were like that for a while. Like there's a burning, a plasticky burning smell coming from a filter. Like that's some serious, serious stuff. I'm actually gonna go back to even like 20 years ago. One of the reasons why I stopped keeping fish was because me and my dad used to keep aquariums together. And one of my first aquariums was a 29 gallon with a Tetra filter on it, which is actually part of Spectrum Brands. That filter used to stop nonstop. And one time we went away on vacation and the filter randomly stopped working. We came home to a purple fish tank of just purple water and all the fish were dead inside. Not such a good tank to come home to after a 12 hour car ride from South Carolina, but it happened. Uh, so my, my hate for Marineland or overall Spectrum Brands 
is a long time coming. It's been happening for a very long time. One other thing about the hang in the back filters that aren't really the greatest is there's not really that much space for media. They have their own cartridges that they put in there. You know, Acquion does the same thing. I'm not a fan of that. Most beginner level or let's say an intermediate level fish keepers, they're probably just gonna put those cartridges in and take them right out after you get gunked up and replace them. We all know that's not good for the aquarium. That's not good for the biological filtration. A company like AquaClear, Fluval actually owns them now. They send you so much media. There's so much media that goes in there. And Marine Land really doesn't do that. They just want to sell cartridges. I really don't think they have the fish's best interest in you know, in their product. Moving on, so let's go over to the food. At my local fish club, I actually got some free Marineland food. I don't know how, but they had free Marineland food. These fish are so spoiled that they didn't even eat the food. Now, so many times where I would offer Marineland food, specifically their floating pellets, and it would just float around on top. George, the Oscar, who eats everything and anything, wouldn't eat Marineland pellets. That right there, that's a no-no. That's a big no-no. There's something wrong. There's something going on. There's something in the food. They're not just spoiled. I do fleet feed uh, Hikari pellets, Fluval pellets. I even cut up little pieces of tilapia, scallops. So they eat uh, like high quality foods, but they know. George knows, he's a smart fish. He knows, he can sniff out, he can sniff out the bad food. Also, there was like Marineland like shrimp pellets. Dude, legit, nobody ate that stuff. Like, no, Cory Doras wouldn't eat that stuff. Nutrition wise, like fish meal is something you don't really want to see in Marineland foods. And it's in like, that's a first ingredient in like a lot of their like fish food. It's kind of funny because Spectrum Brands actually has Omega-1 and I actually really like Omega-1 foods. I feel like if you want to step up from the Marineland food and you're still staying in Spectrum Brands, it would probably be the Omega-1 foods would be that next step up. Next up is the lights. Probably two different ways you can get marine land lights. One of which is when you buy a tank like this, you get the free light on top. I'm actually gonna be talking about their higher end light, the Marine Land Advanced LED. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I actually kind of like this light. The one thing I don't like is the technology it uses. It literally uses technology that could have been used in like during the 80s when it comes to the actual timer aspect. This light, is so expensive for what it is. I'm comparing this light to the Fluval Aquasky LEDs. These are the best lights for your money. They have the cheapest light starting at like $70 for what would fit on like a 10 gallon or a 15 gallon aquarium. The Marineland lights, for that same size, it's like a hundred bucks. There's two different things here. One, how you actually set the time. With the Aquaskies, there's an app. You can actually download an app onto your phone and you have full access using the Fluval Aqua Sky Lights app to actually control the lights. And there's so many different options. We're not gonna cover it here, but there's so many different options that you can configure these lights for. With the Marineland light that you pay almost like 40% more for, you have basically white light and blue light. And you don't have an app, there's a little timer thing on the side. You have to hold two buttons, hold one button. There's a little red LED or whatever the hell it is type of light on the side. You know, the power goes out, you have to set the time. You gotta set the time on, time off, do this. It's like, oh my God! Ah! Fluval, it's just bada bing bada boom. You have safe presets, it's perfect. And you're paying less money for almost the same quality light. Come on, people. It's uh, oh man. I'm getting myself all riled up here. Number four, the glass tops are absolutely garbage. These glass tops are actually horrific. This top, as you can see here, just comes right off. It's extremely thin glass. I'm comparing this top to what comes with the Aquion tanks. If you compare the Aquion glass tops to these, it's like they're double the thickness. And the plastic that holds them together is also much stronger. Both of these on top have snapped the things that actually hold the, the, the thin, tiny pieces of glass in. Both of them have snapped. When I first bought the top for this, it actually shattered while assembling it. Literally while assembling it, it broke. I put no pressure on it. I literally treat these like they're China. Like, like China, uh, 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 dishes or bowls and plates that you'd be using if people came over. These are like, uh, you know, I got the in-laws coming over. You want to use a good plateware, uh, but we got, uh, what is this? What is this? What, who wants to deal with this? Another one real quick, stands. This probably could happen anywhere, but it's a quality issue. This is the second stand I had. And the reason why is because while I was actually setting up this aquarium for the first time, when I first set the tank on top to fill it up with water and put sand in it, it was wobbling. The tank would literally give. I'm not kidding. 
It was like a seesaw. It was crazy because the wood inside here was warped. What? What? You're really gonna put that on shelves? Yeah, PetSmart put it on the shelves, but they're not gonna really know. Marineland has quality control. They have people, if you look inside your tanks, a lot of times they'll say, inspected by Peter, inspected by Marsha. But, I don't know who's inspecting this stuff. This thing was a seesaw. Now if someone bought this and just filled it up with water, they didn't really, they didn't really know the importance of of having a secured aquarium, I guarantee you that tank is gonna burst within a year. Maybe a year. I mean, what are we doing here, ladies and gentlemen? What are we doing, Marineland? Come on. Now the last thing, which I kinda remembered while I was shooting this video, one of my local fish stores, he actually told me that Marineland is having a lot of issues, a lot of issues with their bigger tanks. If this is your first time at my channel, I'm currently building out a massive fish room here. I'm buying a new monster aquarium pretty soon. And I was actually looking into some of the Marineland tanks that you can buy. My local fish store owner said to me, hey, you don't want the Marineland one because they're having issues and they're actually Discontinuing them. Why are they discontinuing some of their monster tanks like the 265, the 220, and the 180? Why are they doing that? Because they had quality control issues. Water can do a lot of damage to a house. Now, if you have 265 gallons that cracks, I'm assuming if you have a 265, you also have either some monster fish, exotic fish. Could you imagine 265 gallons breaking in your house? Even if there's a split seam down here and there's a little small leak. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Marineland is literally letting down the fish community day in and day out. I've had nothing but terrible experiences with Marineland. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm done, man. I'm really done with Marineland because uh, everywhere I turn in the fish keeping hobby for certain brands, and like I said, there's brands I love out there. Penplax, they sponsor me. I literally, I love their filter that they have. It's Cascade Marlin, it is a, it's a, it's a Ferrari, baby. It's silent, it filters like crazy. There's options on it, you got lights, you got, could change the flow, it's perfect. Marineland, I never had that experience. I've never had a Marineland product that I said, wow, this is a great product, I love it. I like to give kudos to good companies that deserve it. Marineland, yeah, you don't deserve my money and you don't deserve anyone else's. So guys, that is my five and a half to six reasons why I now hate Marineland. If you do have any comments about Marineland, if you agree with what I'm saying, if you don't agree with what I'm saying, let me know in the comments section below. I will definitely love to have the conversation with you in the comments. But that's gonna be it for this video, so if you did like this video, be sure to subscribe. Check out some of the other content here on my channel. Ding that notification bell if you already subscribed. Most importantly, don't forget to fish on.